you can now use Photoshop brushes inside of Clip Studio Paint. Let's get into it. So in a recent update, you now have the ability to download and use Photoshop brushes inside of Clip Studio Paint. And so let's look right into that. And so as you can see right here, I've just downloaded a random Photoshop brush. You unzip it and then you simply take that file and drag it on to your um, tool side within your Clip Studio Paint. And then there we go. And then as you can see, that is the, that's a explosion type of brush, right? And it works pretty good. Now, this is really gonna change the game because I, I don't know how many times that I've been searching for different brushes and the only brush that comes up is a Photoshop brush. I'm like, man, where is all the Clip Studio paint brushes, right? So this is really gonna change the game, right? But that's not the only thing that this update has changed. You now have the ability to record your actual drawings inside of Clip Studio Paint. And we're gonna look at just how you do that. So there are two ways to actually do this. So the first way is when you're opening up Clip Studio Paint and you open it, open it up a new document, you simply go all the way down and check that it's a, um, it's a check box saying record time lapse. And you simply check that off and open up your new canvas and there you go. And how this works is that every single time that you open up or you work on this drawing or this particular canvas, it's gonna be recording. And so, and then the second way to do it is if you're already in the canvas, you simply go to file, scroll all the way down until it says time lapse. And then they have the option to store recording or export your time lapse. And you do that when you're through with your actual drawing and you wanna extract the uh, actual video. So I did a couple of test sketches just to see how it was gonna run or whatever. And the thing is, is that they have two time variances. So it's a 15 second and a 30 second. Now granted, this sketch that I did, it was, I only spent about 20 minutes on this sketch. So I don't know whether if you spend an hour on your actual drawing that your time will increase. I didn't see anything inside of the, the main menu uh, to kind of increase that time or whatever, I didn't see it. And then from the next, down from, from the, um, the time box, you have um, the different aspect ratios for your Instagram, your TikTok, um, YouTube, or, or whatever. You have different aspect ratios that you can actually export it and set your time-lapse drawing to. I hope you got some type of value out of this video today. If you did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, I'll holler at you next time. Believe that.